Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts in the little forest. The Lost Egg. Magic one up. Abracadabra, abracadu, magic a ball and make it blue. Hmm, maybe not blue. Red. It's a bit small. Shall I make it bigger? It's fine. Come on, let's play. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> To you, Ben. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Holly, have you magic the ball into this? No, that's not our ball. Look. <whistles> so what's this, then? It looks like an egg. I wonder where it came from. There's no trees here. Maybe it flew. Eggs don't fly, Holly. Magic eggs might fly. Hmm. Maybe it's a dragon's egg. Hmm. Gaston, do you know what kind of egg it is? <coughs> I think that means no. Oh. I know. We can ask Nanny Plum. Good idea. Da da do dum da di da. Dum da dum dum da di da. Da 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 dum da di da di. Nanny Plum, quick! Oh goodness me! What is it? We found a magic egg. Or a dragon's egg. Come on, we'll show you. Most interesting. An egg. Hmm. Here's the magic egg, Nanny. That's not a magic egg. Is it a dragon's egg? No, it's some sort of bird's egg. Hello. What sort of bird's egg are you? A blackbird. It's a talking egg. No. It's me, the wise old elf. Oh, hello. Good day, Mistress Plum. As I was saying, it is a blackbird's egg and there's a baby chick inside. How do you know? You can hear it tapping. Listen. Ooh, exciting. Nanny, can we look after it? You must never collect the eggs of wild birds. The place for an egg is with the mummy bird. Wise words, Mistress Plum. But the mummy bird's not here. Then we must find her. Ow, ow, ow. I know. Gaston can follow the egg's trail and find the mummy. <laughs> Clever Gaston. <laughs> 
Gaston's good at smelling things. Oh! oh! I don't think the ladybird can follow the trail through water. Now we can't find the egg's mummy. So what can we do, Nanny? If the mummy were here, she would build a nest and sit on the egg to keep it warm. <laughs> Please, can I sit on it? Your bottom is too small. We need a bigger bottom. Hello, everybody. Hello, King Thistle. Daddy, can you help us? Help you with what? Your Majesty, if you could sit on this egg until we build a nest, that would be most kind. Very well. Daddy looks a bit silly. <laughs> I don't look silly, do I? No, Daddy. <laughs> I say, this is jolly uncomfortable. You won't be long, will you? We'll be as quick as we can. We just need to build a nest. I know. Elves can pick up sticks. Fairies can pick up soft things. OK. We'll collect these sticks. We'll collect thistledown. Ooh, thistledown is very soft. There. And now, the magic words. Sticks, moss and thistledown make me a nest all cosy and round. Lovely. Can I get off now? Of course, Your Majesty. Look, there's a crack. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the egg. No. The egg is cracking on its own. The egg is hatching. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. Ah. Good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it. And I can get back to my work. Look, the chick is following Nanny Plum. Usually, the first thing a chick sees is its mummy. And this chick saw Nanny first. So it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. We need to find some worms. How? With worm charming, like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> There's another one. Oh. I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. <coughs> Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zigzag, zig, make it big. Oh, no, Nanny. I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... Wearing off. A 
and the mummy bird is here. Hooray! What's it saying? The chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye! bye, -bye. I'm hungry. Me too. And me. How about some juicy worms? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Elf Games. Ben, where are you? Oh, hi Ben. Can I play too? I'm not playing. I'm training. It looks like playing to me. Well, it's not. I'm getting ready for the elf games. That sounds fun. Can I play some elf games? The elf games are not fun. They're very serious. Now, I need to practice my lifting. Ugh, this acorn's really heavy. Ugh. I can do that. Abracadabra. Easy peasy. <laughs> you used magic. We don't have magic at the elf games. Oh. So what do you have? We have jumping. Hoopla! I can do that. Hoopla! <laughs> we don't have flying either. The games are not for fairies, just for elves. That's not fair. Fairies can do lots of things without flying or magic. Like what? I can dance like a ballerina. <laughs> OK, but we don't have dancing at the elf games. Dancing's not the only thing I can do. Look, I'm good at gymnastics. And I'm really good at looking pretty. We don't have dancing, gymnastics or looking pretty at the elf games. Why not? We're elves. <coughs> we have serious things like jumping, running and... Princess Holly, time for your lessons. Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. Ben's going to be in the elf games. Can we go too? Won't it be boring for you, Princess Holly? Watching a lot of sweaty little elves running about. We don't just run, we jump and we lift things. Look, I won this trophy for the high jump last year. Wow! If you really want a trophy, you can have one. Abracazoo, abracazap, for Princess Holly a fancy cup. Yippee! I've won a trophy. Hooray! You can't just magic up a trophy. You have to work for it. I did work for it. I didn't get this good at doing spells without lots of practice. Well, I've got to go and practice my running and jumping. Good luck, Ben. Bye, Holly. See you later. Welcome to the Elf Games. Please remember the Elf rules. No cheating and no... Excuse us, please. Fairy Princess coming through. Carry on, Mr Old Elf. Ah, good day, Mistress Plum. Hi there. For the benefit of the <coughs> fairies amongst us, may I remind you there is to be strictly no magic and absolutely no flying. 
dear me, I was right. This is going to be boring. Now to our first event, running. Look, there's Ben. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. Ben! Ben! <gasps> what? Go on, Ben! Run, Ben! Ah! I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! <laughs> Barnaby Elf is the winner. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. <gasps> now, for last year's high jump champion, Ben Elf. Good luck, Ben. Yes, you can do it. Hoopla! Hooray! Phew, I didn't think he was going to do it. Another excellent jump. Now, for our final competitor, Barnaby Elf. Bad luck, Barnaby. We're down to the last two for the high jump trophy. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie Elf. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> <gasps> now, Ben Elf. If he loses, he's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. No one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Palum. Um, hello? I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. What is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well. 
The rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks, get set, go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? And I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me! What was that? Dancing, gymnastics and looking pretty. Very good. At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. And looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. <laughs> Maybe Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. Ho -ho. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Nanny Plum's Lesson. Holly, Violet and Strawberry, are you ready for today's fairy lesson? Yes, yes Nanny Plum. Plum. <clears throat> today's lesson is about... Who can that be? Oh, Ben Elf. Hello, Nanny Plum. Is Holly in? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to play with elves or insects. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Holly. Nanny Plum's giving us a lesson. Do you want to join in? Yes, please. Actually, it's a fairy lesson. Please, Nanny, let Ben stay. But Ben's missed the beginning. And I don't want to repeat everything I've said. But all you've said is, ahem, <clears throat> today's lesson is about... Please let Ben stay. Please, Please Nanny Plum. Plum. OK. As long as Ben just sits quietly and watches. I suppose even an elf might learn something. Thanks, Nanny. <laughs> oh, so you're joining us too, are you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, where was I? Ahem. <clears throat> Today's lesson is about... Thank you, Strawberry. Today's lesson is about some important fairy rules. Ooh. Rule one. Fairies must look nice. Hair lovely. Clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. <laughs> Elves and ladybirds, of course, need not worry about such things. Rule two. Fairies should never, ever be without their wands. Who knows why? Without wands, fairies can't do magic tricks. Yes, Ben. We need wands to do magic. A fairy without her wand is like a... Like a ladybird without her spots. Nanny, Gaston's a boy ladybird. Whatever. The important thing is, fairies must look after their wands. Yes, yes Nanny Plum. Rule three. If it's windy, like today, fairies should be careful about flying. As long as I fly low, I'll be fine. But on a day like today, no one should fly above the castle walls. It's very windy up here. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. So, what have we learned? Fairies should always look nice. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Fairies mustn't fly in strong winds. Very good. 
You see? Even I find it difficult when the wind is so... <laughs> oh! Nanny Plum's gone! Was that meant to happen? I don't think so. <laughs> Nanny's left her wand behind. And a fairy without a wand is like a ladybird without his spots. Poor Nanny! What can we do? I've got a simple plan. We find Nanny, we rescue her, then we give Nanny her wand. But we don't know how to find her. And we don't know how to rescue her. And we're not allowed to touch Nanny Plum's wand. Then it's a good thing I'm here. I can do all those things because I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston, find Nanny Plum. Gaston will sniff her out in no time. Well, well. Hooray for Gaston! There's Nanny Plum. Stage one completed. Hello. How did you find me so quickly? Gaston followed your smell. My smell? For your information, I do not smell. Nanny, we've got your wand. Holly, you know you're not allowed to touch my wand. It could be very dangerous. But we just wanted to help you. And you said a fairy should never be without her wand. So we're here to rescue you and give you back your wand. Well, that's very nice of you all, but... Stage two, the rescuing bit. Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. Uh, that sounds dangerous. I think I'll just wait for the wind to drop and then I'll fly down. Are you sure you don't want to be rescued, Nanny? Quite sure. This isn't quite what I had planned. But now we're all together again, let's resume the lesson. Uh, Nanny Plum, are you sure that leaf can take your weight? My weight? Young man, I'll have you know I'm as light as a feather. Now, where was I? The last thing you said was... Even I find it difficult to fly when the wind is so... Woo! That's the sound you made when the wind blew you away. Woo! Ah, yes. Thank you, Strawberry. Even I find it difficult to... Woo! At least I'm dry. <laughs> Nanny's wings are soaking wet. She can't fly. So she's stuck on that little island. Nanny Plum, are you ready to be rescued? Uh, no. I'll wait for my wings to dry and then I'll fly over to you. <laughs> I think that bird's looking for worms. <laughs> I hope Mrs Bird doesn't mistake me for a worm. Woo! 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 Oh, Nanny Plum's in a bird's nest. I'll be all right, as long as the eggs don't hatch. Oh, dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh, bother! My wings are still wet. Woo! <laughs> It's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Fan, I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. She's too heavy! Gaston, pull harder! Woo! Hooray! Ooh, Nanny Plum, you smell horrible. Well, at least no one else was here to see all that. My goodness, 
Is that you, Nanny Plum? Uh, yes, Queen Thistle. I'm just teaching the children a few fairy rules. Excellent. And what fairy rules are you teaching? Rule one. Fairies must always look nice. Hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. Uh, yes. I've been showing the children what not to do. Rule two. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Uh, yes, yes, Strawberry. King Thistle doesn't want to know all the little details. Quite right. You seem to have everything under control, Nanny Plum. Please carry on. Thank you, Your Royalness. Did you notice that Nanny Plum seemed a bit smelly? I thought it was the ladybird. Now, where was I? You had just shouted, Woo! Uff! That's the sound you made as you landed in the mud. Uff! Thank you, Strawberry. Actually, that brings today's lesson to a close. That was a brilliant lesson, especially the adventure bits. I'm pleased you enjoyed it, Ben. And thank you for rescuing me. Ah, oh, it's nice to have you back. Hair be lovely, clothes have style, skin beautifully clean. Nanny Plum, you look lovely and pretty again. Thank you, Strawberry. Now, children, what do you think I've learnt today? Um, what to shout when you fall out of trees and stuff? <laughs> no. I've learnt it's good to have friends around when you need them, whether they are fairies or elves. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, yes. Sorry, Gaston. Or ladybirds. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Elf Factory. What's the plan for today, Nanny Plum? You're visiting the Elf Factory. Why? Well, Your Majesty, it's a very busy time of the year for the Elf Factory. What with Christmas coming up? So, what's that got to do with me? You have to inspect the toys and make sure they are perfect. <laughs> that sounds fun. Well, it's not fun, Holly. The toys are always perfect and all I say is, they're perfect. Do I have to go? Well, someone has to. They're expecting a royal visit. I could go and I could say the toys are perfect. Yes, why not? And Nanny Plum can go along too. To look after you. Oh, goody! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. We've come to see the Elf Factory. Do you know where it is? Of course I do. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> so where is it? Follow me. <laughs> Factory reception. Good morning. Can I help you? Hello. Princess Holly is here for the royal visit. I see. Could you sign in, please? Uh, what do I do? Just put your name and job. My name is Princess Holly, and my job is being a pretty fairy princess. Very good. Now you will need these hard hats. <laughs> And I notice you have wands. Yes, we're fairies. I'll need to take your wands. No magic is allowed in the elf factory. Elves don't do magic. And we are elves. <laughs> oh, now... Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the factory is very busy today. We have a big toy order 
for Father Christmas. Wow! Is that Father Christmas? Oh, I shouldn't think so, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Mr Christmas. Can I speak to the wise old elf? Yes, yes. I shall get him right away. Telephone call for the wise old elf. Please, Please report, report to reception, reception immediately. immediately. Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. It's Father Christmas. Oh, excuse me a moment. Hello? Hello, wise old elf. Will those dolls be ready in time for Christmas? Yes, Mr Christmas. We'll definitely have the dolls ready today. And you will make sure they have a pretty red dress, won't you? Yes, she'll have a lovely red dress. Thank you. Goodbye. Is this the doll you're making for Father Christmas? Yes. We're making hundreds of them, and they have to be ready today. Can we see how you make them? Of course. This way, we'll be taking the train. Ooh. All aboard. First stop, level one, the computer room. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Level one, the computer room. <laughs> that was fun. Ooh, it made my tummy all funny. Good, wasn't it? And it'll be even better next time. What do you mean, next time? <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. This is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Gosh, it seems like a lot of hard work to me. We pride ourselves on our thoroughness. This is where we choose the colours. That's the doll for Father Christmas. Yes. Now, for example, if I wanted to, I could change the colour of the doll's dress from red to blue. Blue dress. The elf factory would then know to paint the doll's dress blue. But Father Christmas wants the dress red. Of course he does, Princess Holly. That was just an example. All aboard! Next stop, the elf factory. Oh. We don't have to go down again, do we? <laughs> yes, Nanny. The factory is deep down in the roots of the tree. How deep down? Very, Very deep, deep down. down. Oh. <laughs> All aboard. We're not going down very much. Just you wait, Tolly. Next stop, level 99. Hold tight. <gasps> oh. <laughs> ah, my tummy! This is fun! Whee! <laughs> Level 99. The Elf Factory. And the Gloop Machine. The what? The Gloop Machine. <laughs> wow! This way, Princess Holly. Please, feel free to ask any questions. <laughs> OK. Hello. What do you do? I pull this lever, Princess. What else do you do? I pull this lever and the gloop comes out. Don't you get bored? Elves never get bored. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Thank you. Now, moving on... I press this button. All day? Yes, all day. You must be very patient. Elves are very patient. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> what happens next? Next is the paint room. This is where the toys are painted. What fun! Hello, everybody. Hello, Princess Holly. Every elf 
has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No, we do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work, and we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny! Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. And then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. Oh, she's right. We'll have to unpack them all and paint them again. But there's not enough time. I could sort this out in a moment with a bit of magic. Magic is not allowed in the elf factory. OK. I'll just ring up Father Christmas and tell him what's happened. <gasps> I'm sure he'll understand. No, no, don't ring Father Christmas. Uh, maybe Nanny Plum can use a bit of magic just this once. Good. First, I need my wand. <laughs> Ah, oh, hello, wand. Ahem, blue to red. Hooray! Oh, it worked! <laughs> Thank you. It was nothing, really, just a simple spell. A chair for Nanny Plum, please. What's this for? One down, 999 to go. Oh, blue to red. Blue to red. Blue to red. <laughs> Gosh, Nanny, you must be so patient. Yes, Nanny Plum, we'll make an elf of you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an elf. <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Mrs. Witch. And then the witch locked the fairy and all the elves in a big cage. Help! Help! They shouted. Hee hee, I'll never let you go said the witch. Oh, no! Why did she lock the children up? Because the witch was very naughty and the children were annoying her. Ah! All the chasing around had made the witch hungry, so she ate a mouldy old cake. Chomp, chomp, chomp! Ooh! Why did she eat a mouldy old cake? That's what witches eat. And she drank a glass of sour milk. Glug, glug, glug! After that, she fell asleep. Snore, snore, snore. She's asleep, said the fairy. Quick, let's escape. So the elves broke open the cage door and the fairy princess got her wand back. Ooh. Then the witch woke up. <gasps> Get back in your cage, cried the witch. But the fairy was already casting her spell. Zip! Current bun, witch's magic, all undone. In a flash, all the children were set free and the witch, stuffed full of mouldy old cake, couldn't catch them. The end. Hooray! Then what happened, Mummy? 
Um, the witch was told off for being mean and nasty and made to wash dishes for the rest of her life. Mm. Horrible things, witches. It's a good job they don't really exist, isn't it? Oh, but they do exist. I know a witch who lives in the woods. Really? Yes. I can take you to see her if you like. But won't she lock us up in a big cage? <laughs> no. Witches can sometimes be a bit naughty, but only when they get very annoyed. Mummy, do you think we should go and see the witch? Yes, why not? Nanny Plum will protect you. And then you can see for yourselves how disgusting witches are. Come on, then. Let's go. Bye. Have fun. Bye-bye. Nanny, what are witches like? Are they scary? Not that scary. But witches are a bit smelly. Ooh. <laughs> and do witches use magic to do nasty spells? Witches hardly ever do magic. And they're not that good at magic anyway. Here we are. This witch hasn't done a spell in over a hundred years. Ooh! Knock, knock! Who's there? Nanny! Nanny who? Nanny Plum! Oh, Nanny Plum, do come in. What a treat. A real fairy and an elf. Yes. This is Princess Holly and Ben Elf. Come closer so that I can get a better look at you. See, she's not frightening at all. Just a bit smelly. What's that? Don't touch anything, children. Why can't we touch? Because it's dirty. What's that? Don't worry, dear. I just wanted to show the children how a real witch lives. Oh, I see. Would you like some rat milk and worm cakes? Uh, no thank you, Mrs Witch. We've already eaten. Mrs Witch, can we ask you some questions about being a witch? Of course. Anything you like. Are you any good at magic? Well, I don't like to use magic these days because... I told you! Witches are no good at magic and they never use it anyway. What's that? Mrs Witch, if we don't do magic these days, then what do you do? I'm retired. So, you don't chase elves or fairies anymore then? Oh, no. I just... Look. Witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? That's... Or make these seats more comfortable. Stop it, Nanny. You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs. Witch. Maybe not, but she was. <laughs> Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh. Is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes, Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs Witch. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Quick, run! Daddy! Daddy! Nanny Plum made Mrs Witch really angry! And now Nanny's frozen like a statue! 
Oh, dear. Daddy, if we don't do something, the nanny will stay frozen forever. Hmm. We'll never see nanny again. How sad. And there'll be no more lovely dinners. No dinners? What? Nanny Plum frozen? Yes! Show me where Mrs Witch lives. Was Nanny Plum rude to Mrs Witch? A bit. Hmm. Witches can be a little moody. Are you going to tell Mrs Witch off, Daddy? No. I've got a better idea. Who's there? King Thistle. King Thistle who? Uh, King Thistle, King Thistle. Oh, Your Majesty. You must be the Mrs Witch I have heard so much about. Please let me explain. About your cleverness, your kindness and beauty. Uh oh. Not to mention your wonderful cooking. Would you like a worm cake? No, thank you. I believe you may have frozen Nanny Plum. Yes, I have, but... I completely understand why you would want to do this. You do? Nanny Plum can be quite rude at times, but she's really not that clever. Yes, well... I am sure, being as clever and as kind as you are, and knowing that Nanny really can't help herself, you will let her go this time. Quite apart from that, I need Nanny to cook my dinner. I could cook you dinner, Your Majesty. That's very kind of you. I was just about to boil some toads in the hole. But I just need Nanny Plum back. I understand. Just one moment. Say thank you for having me, Nanny. Thank you for having me. Goodbye, Mrs Witch, and very nice to meet you. I'm honoured, Your Majesty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Daddy, you didn't tell Mrs Witch off at all. And you said Mrs Witch was beautiful when she's ugly and smelly. Well, Ben, there's a time for telling someone they're ugly and smelly and a time to be just nice. Hmm... Saying nice things about people always goes a long way. It's good to have you back, Nanny Plum. Thank you, Holly. Yes. What's the supper? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. <laughs> Elf Joke Day! <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new toy. What is it? It's a telescope. You can see things that are really far away. Wow. Can I have a go? OK. I can't see anything. Try twisting it a bit. It still doesn't work. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Ben? It's a joke telescope. It gives you a black ring around your eye that makes you look really silly. Look! Ah! Why did you do that? <laughs> Today is Elf Joke Day. What's Elf Joke Day? It's a special day when all the elves play jokes on each other. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is fun. <laughs> Would you like one of my chewy sweets? Yes, please. <laughs> that wasn't funny, Ben. <laughs> Sorry. 
Here, have this flower. No, thanks. I've had enough of your silly jokes. It's OK, Holly. It won't jump out or make your face dirty. Promise? I promise. <laughs> That's my squirty water flower. It's not funny. <laughs> it is funny. Zip, zap, zop. Upside down, you silly elf. Whoa! Ah, put me down. Lesson time, Holly. Oh, hello, Ben. What are you doing upside down? Help! Help! Princess Holly, is this your doing? It was Ben's fault. He was playing jokes on me. Never use magic in anger. It can be very dangerous. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Holly, put Ben down. Sorry, Ben. Phew, that's better. Now, what's all this about jokes, Ben? It's Elf Joke Day. <coughs> oh, I love jokes. I don't think they're very funny. <laughs> you should learn to have a sense of humour, Holly. Come on, Holly, let's have some fun. Yes, today's lesson can be how to have fun. Off you go. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> a spider! <laughs> it's only a toy spider. Dad gets it out every year. Ho, 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 ho! Happy Elf Joke Day! Ho, 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 ho! Mr Elf! I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly. I hope we didn't startle you. <laughs> it's OK. It's funny. Oh, oh, hello, Princess Holly. Are you having a merry elf joke day? <laughs> yes, I like jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nanny Plum was here. She loves jokes. Oh, I didn't know Nanny Plum liked such things. Yes, Nanny's got a really good sense of humour. Really? Then maybe we should go and show her some jokes. <laughs> to the elf truck. No, no, Princess Holly. A joke should be a surprise. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh, I'm really busy. Who can that be? Hello. What do you want? Hello. What do you want? What? What? Why are you copying everything I say? <laughs> Why are you copying everything I say? Oh. I haven't got time for this. <laughs> I haven't got time for this. Silly old fool. Silly old fool. Oh. I don't think Nanny found that funny. I thought you said she liked jokes. She does. Let's try another one. Very well. This is my favourite. It's a little toy mouse. <laughs> oh, Nanny Plum doesn't like mice. <laughs> She'll like this one. It's funny. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> Send it in. <laughs> Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da. <laughs> what a 
What was that? <laughs> Is she laughing? Um, sort of. Oh, splendid. Let's go and join in the fun. Ah! Ho, ho, ho! Happy Elf Joke Day. That was not funny, wise old elf. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Nanny Plum. May I say how lovely you are looking today? What? Is this another silly joke? <laughs> no. Oh, you are so pretty. May I take your photograph? <laughs> well, I suppose so. Oh, you are most kind. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> <gasps> what? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> mm, it's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top quality smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny at all, Mr Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But Nanny... You said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? Oh, uh, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elf to snail. <gasps> Naughty Nanny. You said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Ha. <laughs> uh, what's that snail doing here? Well, Daddy, the wise old elf played jokes on Nanny Plum and she got angry and did a spell on him. <laughs> the wise old elf was just having fun. Don't you have a sense of humour, Nanny Plum? Yes, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum, why did you turn him into a snail? Um, it was meant to be a funny joke. And was it funny? No, Your Majesty. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. I'm not surprised. Turn him back into the wise old elf, please, Nanny Plum. Very well, Your Majesty. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, thank you so much for your help. Oh, that's all right. I must say, you are looking most handsome today, Your Majesty. May I take your photograph? Of course. <laughs> uh, um, Your Majesty? Not now, Nanny Plum. I'm having my picture taken. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, oh, stinking elf cheese! <laughs> I can't help playing jokes. It's Elf Joke Day, and I'm an elf. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, most amusing. Happy Elf Joke Day. <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day. <laughs> 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 <laughs>